the third segment of Madeline's um, cotillion dress and Angela Atherton is the designer she designed this is the dress we're working from the drawing that I've been showing you and Angela and I are working together in the sewing room today and I'd swing over there and show you but she doesn't want me to <laughs> but anyway it's a Saturday and she's helping me with this part this is the uh, lace overlay and we're having to um, machine embroider these scallops right here so that everything is shaped right because this is not gathered up here on the waistband it's going to be very fitted so there's going to be a side seam on each side and then the two back seams just like on the satin skirt but um, I, I don't have a seam right here on the front because I could combine this and I'll, I'll show that to you so what we've got here and I've laid it out I've put a piece of uh, black velvet so you could see what we're actually doing this is our netting fabric it's an embroidered netting and this is the um, this is the center front top part of the skirt now I wanted the um, the actual piece ends right let's see oh I cut it off at the top here's the top edge it's a little rough but our um, our machine embroidery actually is going to start right here. That's where the, my seam allowance is going to be. Hard to explain, but what you're seeing behind here is some um, Floriani um, tacky washable stabilizers, water soluble tacky Floriani stabilizer. And what we're doing is we're working with this is the template for my machine embroidery. And as you can see, it's like a half scallop. This is the big one whole. Um, motif or one whole repeat so I'm having to lining up I'm lining it up one by one we line it up mark it hoop it stitch it take it out of the hoop lay it back out line it mark it hoop it stitch it one at a time going around the whole entire skirt and I, as I get to a side seam as I get close to a side seam then I'll add that panel we'll machine embroider that section then I'll do the next side seam so I'm not working with the whole entire skirt under the hoop the whole time the only time I'm really going to be working with the whole entire skirt under the hoop is when I get the last panel on but for now what we're doing is we are hooping up a piece of um, our tacky stabilizer and then we um, remove the paper on the inside so this part is tacky as you can see and we will put this over it so you see that none of our netting is being hooped we're, we're just we're going straight down on the tacky so what I want to show you next is how we line this up now let me see if I can get this in the camera for you okay this is our last you can see my seam right here and this is our last repeat and we're going to have to um, line up the next repeat so I know that this point and this point are to meet and this is my my uh oh I've gotten out of the camera there we go mm -hmm. Am I in there now Angela mm -hmm. okay so this is my I hope you can see this it's a blue mark it's my bottom line my hem line the edge of the hem of the skirt and um, I, I'll tell you we have had a time of it we it, you can match these points up but if you don't we've, we've noticed that there might be like an eighth of an inch gap so what we're going to do is go back in where there's a gap where it doesn't quite meet and we're going to fill that tiny little space with some machine um, satin stitching uh, some of it is so minor that it doesn't matter but here we go this is the end of our last stitching and this is going to be the beginning of the next stitching so I'm going to join that with a pin right there so that the two of those match and then I'm going to just shift it I want this this edge to kind of hit my hemline right there and then I'm going to mark this crosshatch and I'm going to match that crosshatch in this crosshatch and then we're going to go to our machine embroidery machine and stitch it out so I'm going to end here so that I can get that part done and then I'll show you um, our stitching it out okay I'm back and Angela is lining up the center marks the blue center marks that we marked on the um, the netting lace and she's lining up with the uh, pencil marks on our stabilizer so hopefully we'll get those two points to match up perfectly this time and then we'll stitch it out 
and be sure that you're always checking that you're working for, with the right side up. There was one time we put this thing in the hoop and we both looked at it and it looked kind of strange. It looked like the scallops were going the wrong way and she's like, hey, we've got this thing on the wrong side. So, you know, be careful that you're always working with the right side up. And um, Angela, hand me the end where I put the, the little stickers. I've marked each one of my panels with a sticker that says, you know, left front, right side. So I would always know which piece I'm dealing with because when you're working with netting, it all starts looking the same. So this tells me which piece it is and that this is the right side of the fabric. All right, we're going to go, I'm going to end this and then I'm going to swing this over to the machine embroidery machine and we're going to stitch this out. All right, um, Angela is putting the hoop in our fancy Baby Lock Embroidery Professional. Thank you, Baby Lock, for our lovely machine. Look at this. This this machine is great. It has all the spools. It has actually six spools of thread that you can line up and you can program it to stitch um, all six colors. We're just using um, one color, but it's a great um, machine, especially when you're doing like 20 repeats. And go ahead and press the start button. Maybe I can get a little closer with my zoom. And we will see. Good! Look at it! It Did it match? Oh! Well, we're going to have to match that one up with a little bit of zigzag again. But for some reason, we're just ha like a tiny 16th or an 18th of an inch off. On some of these, it's not going to matter as much. And on some of them, I'll have to connect it with a satin stitch. But I wanted to show you this so that when you do it, you'll see not to worry about that. That you, you can just keep going and um, it'll be great. Sometimes your points will match up like ours did and sometimes they won't, but that's okay. Now when we're done with this, we're going to um, rinse out all of our stabilizers. And then we're going now you want to stitch your little you want to stitch your little point connection with a satin stitch on the sewing machine before you wash out the stabilizer, but once you've done all that and have it the way you want it, we'll soak the whole skirt overlay in water to remove the stabilizer and the markings, and then we will cut away along the satin stitch edge. And um, that will make our overlay. So um, I'll, and, and two, this isn't necessarily the third step in making the dress. It's just that we happen to um, be working on the overlay today. You can make the overlay after you complete the dress, if you want, before you put the skirt on, if you want to. At this point, I just have the skirt sewn together with no embellishment on the bottom, and the bodice sewn together with no puffing at the top. So the puffing strips have not been laid in yet. Um, and when we get ready to add the skirt to the bodice at the waistband, we'll put this overlay with it and baste it on before it actually goes onto the dress. And then uh, once we do that, the dress will be pretty much complete except for the zipper. So the, the stage that you choose to actually finish um, your overlay is up to you. All right, we'll be joining you again with the fourth segment as soon as I get that far.